guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with the amazingly talented Kelly Brogan, and I'm so excited that you're here with me tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks, Missy. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I, I'm I'm so excited to talk to you about a few things. And okay, the main thing is your new album that's coming out. But before we talk about that, I have to know about your dogs and the great painting party that they had. Oh my gosh, I saw <laughs> I saw a picture on your Facebook and I was dying. What what happened? <laughs> well, I was painting the back fence, and uh, we went through a couple of stages of the back fence because we, we the color we chose on the uh, on the you know the little sample that you get. It looked great in a little sample, but when we put it on the fence, it was a little bit too bright. So we went back and did it again. And so the first time we did it, we, we sort of kept the dogs away. And then the next time I thought, oh, that's right. They're not, you know, they haven't been coming too close. Right. I let them play. Well, yeah, they came and played all right. They uh, <laughs> decided to go straight along the side of the fence. And so we ended up with, uh, instead of having a Kelpie that was brown, I had a brown and orange Kelpie. And I had a blue healer that was blue white and orange so, yes, yes. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite cute but uh, they're actually you know one of them still has a little tiny bit still left on their tail it hasn't quite come off yet but yeah then pretty much back to normal now oh my gosh when I saw that picture I was like no way that is so something my dog would do I know it I know it and, <laughs> and it was so funny because the looks on the on their faces were like what we didn't do anything we were just having fun <laughs> it was awesome it was yeah. awesome and, so and I, and I want to know about your mama too. Is she still feeding the rabbit? Uh, no, the uh, the gentleman who lived at the house across the road um, has actually moved, and so the rabbit has moved on, unfortunately, uh -huh. because uh, we we miss him terribly. Every so often we look and we see a rock sitting somewhere. We think, oh, maybe he's back home. No. So he has moved on, unfortunately. But yeah, no, it was uh, it was great to have him around. He was really lovely. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, enough with my sidetracking, but I just had to know <laughs> those two things <laughs> right away. But okay, so let's no, talk no about your new album. There's 10 songs on this album, and two of them are yes. award-winning songs. So I want I want to hear yes. all about this and what what went on and how you put this album together and how you chose the songs. Yeah, certainly. Um, well, two that have been, uh, would have been two that you would have heard before. Uh, they were the two singles that I released, one earlier this year and one last year. And uh, I, I won awards in America, actually, um, at Academia. So um, they, I just actually got the sparks yesterday, which was So, um, yeah, they, they, they got best, one got best country song and one got best country ballad, uh, which was very cool. I was very excited. Nice. Um, so they're both, on, they're both on the album. And then the other song... Uh, a mixture of songs that I've co-written and um, songs that have been written for me, naturally. And, um, yeah, there's, there's a mixture between songs that are sort of part felt, I suppose, you know, with things that have happened uh, both in my past and, and you know, sort of currently. And then there's some songs that are just fun. Uh, there's one called How Yeah, which is pretty much just talking about, you know, having having a really good time and, mm -hmm. and what, what, you know, what you do in life. And then... There's other songs like there's one on there that um, was deliberately put on there to thank people for supporting me, and it's literally um, all about how I'm, I'm I consider myself a country girl that you know has grown up and and always wanted to do this, and and the struggles that we've kind of gone through, and and now you know these, through people like yourself and other people supporting me and my music, I'm now actually you know considered an artist. So I you know I, I really appreciated that. So I wanted to put something on there that you know sort of thanks people very much for, for their support and, and also, you know, an extra song on the album. So, yeah, it's sort of a very personal album, but at the same time, I think, and it, it, it sort of embellishes the things that I like about music. It's not an album where you listen to it and every song sort of sounds the same. There's right. stuff that sort of sounds very old country and then there's stuff that's sort of modern country and then there's other stuff that they've gone, oh, that's a bit funky. So, um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it's a little bit different, you know. So there's stuff, I think, for everyone, sort of every age group and everybody who right. has a different taste of country music. So, and so yeah. I, I think that's great, too. And you know what? And, and you're right, because not everybody has, you know, the, the same taste in country music. And, you know, for the majority, I think, you know, everybody likes, you know, a little bit of everything. But you know, you're always going to have the, the one or two people that really, really love a certain style. But, but when you're able to mix it up and reach everybody, I think it's such a huge, huge, huge deal. And, and it's, it's, it's more fun on an album, too, because if you're in one of those moods where you just kind of just you're free and you want to listen to whatever, you know, hearing that good ballad and hearing that good fun song, it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. And I, and I think it's great. And, and I think that, I think that that's, 
kind of a, a better thing because it doesn't make the album boring, at least for me anyway. I love it when there's oh. some variety on an album. So so I, I, I like that. I think that's great. And well, I must admit, I, I said to the producer when we did it, I said, uh, and he said the same thing, I said that the albums I've always loved the most are his latest hit albums mm-hmm. because they give you the depth of everybody. And so I said, I want it to be, even though it's not my greatest hit, well, hope it's not the only one today, right. but, um, but um, but I said, you know, I, I would really love it to sound like it's the best of so many different types of things that I've done over time. And he said, okay, yeah, let's let's, let's try and, you know, put that all in. So that's what we've tried to do. Hopefully that's the way it comes across. Absolutely. And, I, and it's great, too, because, you know, when you're in a certain mood and you just want to listen to a certain song, if you have an album that doesn't have any of those songs on it, guess what? You're not going to play that album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so it, I, I think that's I think that's great, and that's why I love albums that offer a variety because no matter what mood I'm in, it'll reach them. <laughs> so that's very true. Definitely, definitely. And you've 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 gotten so busy, and you've done so many amazing things. I've been watching you play different shows, and you know you've you've been really active on your social media. But I want to know about this this great cycle challenge. What is this that you've done? Do you, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, the Great Cycle Challenge, because uh, I'm still at home at working in a primary school, and uh, one of the girls that here yeah, I'm friends with, quite, you know, we're pretty good friends, and so she always does the Great Cycle Challenge, and it's to raise money for kids with cancer, to try and find a cure for them. And so, and be, being in a primary school, and, and me, I love kids, I think they're an amazing, uh, you know, entity to our, our society, because without them, you know, they tell it straight, and they tell you exactly how it is, yeah. and so I think they're amazing. And so... When she said to me, oh, look, we, we, we want to do this, I said, you know, great. I said, I've done it. I did it last year with her. And then this year, we said, right, let's get a team together. So we, you know, sent out a challenge to the kids and said, right, let's put a team together. And even if you can't raise money, let's show people that you have respect for people that do all this sort of stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, we're trying to teach them to, you know, to be involved in, in the community, not just for themselves. Right. And so we put this team together and, and yeah, we, we cycled. And I probably didn't do as well this year. I actually fell over but while I was painting and I uh, bruised my knee so oh. I, you know, I was a little bit tender so I didn't travel quite as far as I was right. hoping but you know we still got uh, some I got some cycling done and and yeah we raised I think we raised about three and a half thousand dollars for kids cancer so we That's were wrapped amazing. and you know that was that was the main thing we just wanted to raise some money and, and make people aware of what we were doing in our community so oh that's great I'm so glad I asked because I was like okay well what is this and and I love I love learning about things that people do because when it, especially when it's something I haven't heard of and it sounds interesting yep. I'm like ooh okay okay so I'm glad I found out that that was you know related to you know such a great cause I mean and cancer is one of those things it does not discriminate man it doesn't matter how old or young no. you are it doesn't matter what race you are what sex you are it just doesn't matter it and it, when it comes sometimes it just comes with a vengeance and. Man, so thank you, Bravo, for helping your, you know, the little, the little ones, like, you know, bringing awareness and getting people involved. That's amazing. That's great. Yeah, thanks. No, you're welcome. And something else that you did recently is something that I also did recently, and I want to know how you feel about it. You dressed up for a superhero birthday party, and <laughs> I just dressed up as Captain America for a superhero birthday party last week. So. I want to know, do you love dressing up like on Halloween and and stuff like that? Or was it one of those things where you did it, but you didn't really want to do it and you ended up having fun anyway? No, I must admit, I do enjoy doing it. Um, I must admit, in my family, we've never had a lot to do with Halloween um, because in Australia, when I was younger, it wasn't really big, whereas now it's going to get really big here. Um, So you do see so many more people, you know, dressing up for that purpose. but yeah, I, I, you know, friends parties, uh, you know, if anybody's going to dress up, they're just the village idiot as we say here. Um, it's usually me. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I just think it's fun. And, you know, I just don't see, and I think too, when you, when you dress up, you can become a whole other person and okay. have a bit of fun, you know, where your personality may not normally take you. And, <laughs> and unfortunately that particular part, it sort of said, oh, you need to dress up and it starts with this first letter of your name. And I'm like, what's this superhero that starts with K? Like I just went, really I, I couldn't believe that they had put that sort of um you know limitation on it and so that's why I went as Kim Possible because it was the only A that I could actually think of and then when I got there nobody had even gone with that rule and I was like that's not fair like here I was <laughs> trying so hard to get it going and then they, they had you know you had pants and you had all these different types 
heroes. And I thought, oh, man, I could have gone with something else. So, yeah, my mum was lucky because her name is Sandra, so she started with an S. So she went as, you know, Superman, but she went as an inflatable Superman. I, so she was fine, but <laughs> I had not. No chance. <laughs> I was dying when I saw her inflatable costume. I was like, "Oh, you have got to be. that!" That was the greatest thing ever. And I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this recently on Facebook. And I was so not planning on talking about this, but I have to now. Have you seen those inflatable pink costume things that are bouncy costumes? And there's a video <laughs> where there's guys bouncing across the street, and all of a sudden they just stop bouncing and then they walk, and they're these big giant pink men that are just waddling across the street. It is. I want to go get them because it reminds me of those rubber balls you used to bounce on in the in the store. And yes, it's true. I want it's to, very funny. I want to go get them and I want to do a piece with with the magazine called Shenanigans with Missy. And I want to just get a bunch of people in the in those suits and I want to just get us going all throughout Nashville or whatever on those. I think it would be great. It'd be so much fun. Yeah, I think it'd be funny. It'd be a lot of fun. Though. It would. Definitely. Well, if you have plans to go to Nashville after the first of the year, you're going to have to let me know because I'm definitely going to try to find those costumes. I think it would be <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, I would be in that for sure. Definitely. You see? See? Okay. We, we got to do that. We definitely have to do that because I was like, oh my gosh, it's just like that human hungry hippo game. Have you seen that one too? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's great. I've looked at that so many times and went, oh, I just need a party. I just right? need a party where we can put that in. Yes. <laughs> yes. We need to do that. Definitely. And, and, you know, and I was talking, I don't know who I was talking to about it. Um, I know I mentioned it in one of my articles, but Halloween costumes have gotten so expensive, right? You want to put yes, together a yes. nice costume. It's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks. And so this, yeah, definitely. this year we went as pirates and I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to be a pirate for my birthday, too. So I'm going to have a pirate party for my birthday. I'm like, I'm getting the most money or the most value I can out of the money that was spent on this costume because it's it's just absolutely yeah. absurd. And I love dressing up, too. So, okay, well, well we, that's fair enough. When, when you and I get to, you know, actually meet in person, and we're definitely going to have to do one of these shenanigans shows because I think it would be so much fun. We're going to have to either play, oh, definitely. play the hippo game or, or do the bouncy suits if we can find them or something because it would be great. But Anyways, back Definitely. back to your album. I'm so proud of you, number one, <laughs> and I'm so excited Thank that you. your album is coming out. And you have you have a release date of November 21st for pre-order, right? And then, like, the- well, we're hoping that um even it'll be it will actually be well we were hoping that it would be actually out um available on iTunes and Google Play and all those sorts of things on November 21st. But yeah, as I say, it's sometimes. You know, things don't always go according to plan. So if it, not, it will definitely still be a pre-order by that date. And okay. as soon as it's out, it will be available. Uh, yeah, and then the official launch is um, the 3rd of December. So technically, uh, yeah, we're supposed to be having a bit of a launch party and things like that. And I'm right. hoping to actually live stream it so that anybody in the United States who's not here in Australia, naturally, or anybody else who follows me can actually still be there with me. So... Oh, I'm good. hoping that that will be the opportunity. So. Okay, great. That's awesome. Yeah, I I saw that you were going to be doing a, a launch party for it, and I thought that, that was going to be really fun. And, you know, I mean, we, we've we attended a few CD release parties as well, and they really are just such a great time. And do you do you invite a lot of your fans to, to come and join you at these things, or are they mostly like family yeah, and well, and industry? Yeah, no, there have been – I have invited a few um, – like there have been a lot of my family and friends there because – just, you know, they've always supported me and, and they've always said, oh, no, to get to release a CD, we want it either. And so I've made sure that they are. But, yeah, I have um, I have put it out to people that I know are local sort of in this area that, you know, can get to it because I know it's very expensive to actually fly into places and do right. things for a one-night sort of thing. So I've done that. But then I, I also have put out there to people that, you know, if I can get it, if I'm looking like I'll be able to arrange it either on YouTube or, you know, now that there's Facebook Live, um, to actually put the entire because I'm actually going to do all the songs from the album live on the night. Oh, and so, um, yeah, so we're going to do it with the band. And so I thought, well, yes, technically it'll be my first concert, I suppose, that ends right. those days, um, with this, under these sort of songs. So I thought, well, I'll stream it live, and that way people will get to actually see the, the music done live and, and me right. performing it, and, and then hopefully be as though so they're a part of, you know, the actual launch and the album being coming out. So oh, that's see how it goes. That's, that's great. And- so, so since you're you're talking about doing that online, you know, and, and letting fans watch it, have you ever done um, an online concert before? Because 
they're pretty fabulous. And I don't know if you're familiar with Sage It, um, but they're great. I, I have heard of Sage It, but I haven't used them yet. And so a few people say, look into these and look into this piece and yeah. that. But now that you've said it, you know, I might actually look into them as well. Because, well, I haven't actually done an online concert before, but I believe, you know, they're a lot of fun. And it's so I thought, right. you know, if I've got the opportunity, I'm going to try and do it. So. Well, let, let, me, let me share with you my experience because, and the reason why I advocate for these, these shows, these online shows, is because you, unless you're in the environment that I was in, you probably wouldn't just think about it. But these shows, these online concerts, you have the ability to reach people who can't leave their house or can't leave the hospital. And I was in the children's hospital with my son, and Brandon Chase is, is you know, now a friend of ours, but he, he was doing this show on stage it and my son loves his music we all love his music and talk about brightening up a child's day who couldn't leave the hospital who we were there for for i forget that time how many days we were there i think we were there that time for like nine or ten days but what an awesome awesome thing it was because my son had his own little concert in his hospital room and he was yeah. able to interact so you know that's one of the coolest things because when you're you're singing and you can take requests and people tip you and there's you know what I mean like there's just there's so many cool things that go on during those shows and the interaction and them saying you know shouting out to their people that are watching because of the comments that are happening it's just it really is such a cool and unique experience and and I really don't think that the artists realize how much of an impact that that makes on someone's life who can't get out of their house for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, no, I will I'll definitely look save it up then because I was yeah <laughs> I was trying to work out what would be the best way to do it, but it, you know seeing it come from experience, I'll mm -hmm. definitely go down that path. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I I I definitely think it would be so much fun for all of your fans and everybody, and I think that the video quality on it, I mean, it was just it was spectacular from where we were at it was really great so hopefully awesome. hopefully that's something you can actually get into but um man just you have so much great stuff coming up i'm so excited to watch you so all of center stage is excited to watch you and see how this new album release goes for you and you really do have such an amazing voice and it's been fun watching you put out little teasers on your social media like with song titles <laughs> you know which has been really 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 fun so i want to know what inspired you to do that to, to intrigue everybody? Well, I think um, I just wanted people to be involved, and I, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm I think of myself as a people person. I, I hate feeling like I'm I'm behind a screen and there's nobody there. Sure. And so, and you know, so many people have said to me, "Oh, when is it coming? You know, you've been saying for ages it's coming." And I said, "Look, you know, I, if I had it, uh, I would give it to you now." I just, you know, right. I, for my life, I don't like to wait. <laughs> and so I said, look, no, I'm, I'm happy to you know, start giving people stuff to try and show them that, yes, it is actually coming. And, yes, there are actually yes. titles available because I didn't want people to think I was telling them there was an album coming and, you know, in two years' time, they're still not going to have it sort of thing. Right. So I just wanted to, you know, get it out there and say, look, you know, these are, this is what's actually happening. And, yes, these are the titles. And, mm -hmm. you know, which one do you think you might like just going on the title? And, you know, a lot of people got back to me and said, oh, you know, I think, I like this one, or I like that one, or this seems to suit my personality or my yeah. mood at the moment. And so it was great to hear that, you know, people were getting as excited as I was right. about it. Because, you know, for me, this has been something I've always wanted to do and, yeah. you know, never really had the opportunity or the access or the right time in my life to do it. And, and now that it's here, it's almost like it's never going to happen until like, the day it happens. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, so no, no, I just thought, well, you know, at least if I'm sharing it with people and hopefully they're you know, looking forward to it as much as I am, then, you know, I'm going to feel like I can actually give them something that, you know, something of, you know, maybe I can't, you know, normally do. So right. it was just, you know, that's where it was coming from, really, you know, and I think it's nice to, you know, promote something before it happens. So I, I love to, you know, watch, you know, oh, great, you've got a new album coming out or whatever. And I thought, well, right. you know, if all of a sudden it just appears and nobody even knew it was coming, right. it makes it a bit hard for other people as well. So, right. Yeah, so it was just mainly that. It was from that perspective. I just wanted people to be able to know what was going to be on the album right. and, and, you know, that, yeah, I actually was doing some work. I wasn't just sitting at home thinking, oh, yeah, it'll happen eventually. So. Absolutely. And I love that you also described what some of the songs were and where they came from. And, you know, I, I thought that was, I thought that that gave a real personal touch to to everything, and I thought, wow, that's really cool, because you know, usually what I see, and, and what's very very typical, and I'm, I'm not bashing at all. I think it's great, is, but usually what you see is 
you know, the album artwork and just the, the same thing every single post is, hey, the album's coming out on this day, you know, and it's got all the information listed and then they just repost that every so often to keep yeah. it a reminder for everybody. But you've taken it a little different. It's been a different post each time, a different title, a different description. And I, I just think that that, that completely um, captivates your audience and they, you know, then they're like looking for more and waiting for that next hint or a tidbit of information. So it keeps their interest up. And I, I think that's, I think that's really, really smart. And I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, that I got to see you doing all of that. And so I definitely can't wait for your new album to come out. And, you know, I, I, I it's like November 21st, can't get here fast enough for you, I'm sure. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, for sure, yeah. No, as I say, hopefully within the next two weeks we'll have it out there for everybody to hear. And, and you know, I'd love for people to let me know what what they think. You know, which good or bad, because you know, it's feedback you learn from it. And right. you know, sometimes people are going to like songs, other people aren't going to like those songs, and you're laughing out. And, and that's okay. You know, I know myself. Right. You know, there's you know, I my favorite artists come out, and I love some of their songs, and I go, oh, why? Why right. did you put that one on? You know, right. like, but for them, you know, they've got some meaning to them. So. Everybody is different, and, and it's great to hear what people think. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Kelly, thank you so much again for taking the time to, to talk with us and, and for giving Center Stage Magazine the opportunity and the chance to, you know, keep up with you and, and to, you know, bring fans more of your music. I, I, I really do appreciate the fact that, you know, you, you've given us that, and I definitely cannot wait to share this with everybody. I can't wait for everybody to hear your new album. I can't wait to hear your new album. I can't wait. I really, I'm like, okay, I got, I got to get that one. <laughs> so um, just man, good luck to you. And, you know, let us know again, whenever you have anything coming up or, you know, anything we can help you with, even if it's, you know, you need, you have a contest idea or anything at all, anything you need help with, give a shout out to anyone. Just, it doesn't matter. Let us know and we'll do whatever we can to help you out. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Thanks, Missy. I really do. No problem. Will you take care? Tell your mom I said hi. I know she has no clue who I am. To tell her I said hi. <laughs> nice. And I'm sorry her little bunny friend is gone because that was just the, one of the funnest stories that have stood out in my mind out of all the interviews that I've done. And I just thought it was so great when we got to talk about that. And so thank you. No, that was my pleasure. And thank you once again for all your support. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. No problem. You take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Missy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.